quite a few people have been asking me on Zestology, the podcast, about trackers and which the best one to get. And I'm totally in favor of tracking as much as possible. In fact, I'm a bit of a tracking geek. But when it comes to wearable trackers, I think it's quite important for me not to have one that has Bluetooth on it. And this is quite controversial and quite different from many people. I wear a jawbone and I wear one of the oldest ones and it's really good. I'll show you the display quickly. This is what happens, for instance, with your sleep. Um, the light blue is light sleep, the dark blue is dark sleep, and the orange is awake. So last night I slept for uh, six hours and 55 minutes and I had three hours 55 of deep sleep, which is good. So it provides good sleep and in, in information and um, good information for steps and that kind of thing as well. My problem with the Jawbone is the latest versions, and this is the same with the iPhone and most trackers, have Bluetooth in them, which emit a small electromagnetic frequency. And I don't really think it's that cool to have a small amount of radiation right on your skin, because that's what it is. That's what Bluetooth is, a tiny little um, radiation emitting device on your skin. What would that do to the body's own electromagnetic field in the long run? Short answer, we don't know. Which is why I've got the first ever generation jawbone, which you can still buy online. It's only about 30 pounds, about $50, and it seems to do the job just fine. It doesn't measure my heart rate, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it also doesn't have EMFs on my skin, which I'm happy about. So the jawbone is the one that I wear, but it's not the most technologically advanced uh, tracker on the market.